Hello people, welcome to a new video. This one is about sort of bad news in the Linux world that if you guys have been following Solus or ever used it, you will already know that uh, this project was kind of abandoned back in 2021 when the Ike, the guy, I mean, uh, who's the founder of this uh, distribution decided to move on with other projects. Um, unfortunately, it seems that this is the end of the distribution so far as it seems. For example, if you go to the blog, we can see the latest release they had was in 2021, which is almost two years old now. Uh, it was quite a decent distribution. I mean, this, if you see here, this icon, this is their flagship desktop called Budgie. This one is GNOME and so on. So since then, there has not been any releases. I don't know if they are even maintaining packages, although it is available for distribution, but um, I don't know what is the status of the the packages their blog is that their last release was in 2021 and uh, their forum links unfortunately is also not working so we don't really know what's happening but when we go to distro watch there we can see the status of this uh, distribution has been changed to dormant which is we know that is done uh, we are not going to see the revival of this distribution unfortunately so with this bad news, um, just let me talk about uh, good news as well. Ike moved to uh, make a new distribution from scratch called Serpent OS, which I hope to use going forward. Um, but, in, uh, but as of now, they don't have a working ISO file. They have this demo ISO that can be used in virtual machine to have a look at their package manager called Moz or have a look at their build system called Boulder. But they don't have any packages available in their repositories and there are no build templates so you can't really do anything except for just throwing out some commands and having a look at how the things work um, but if you follow their twitter you will see it seems that they are very close to have a working iso which is probably going to be based on gnome uh, as per my expectations and the one thing that could push me back from this distribution is it seems that they will be using muzzle library instead of glibc uh, I remember reading it somewhere, but uh, I cannot recall it right now. Um, anyways, so with this apart, we have a bad news about Solus, and uh, it seems this distribution is done. But we do have a good news about Solus, oh, sorry, Serpent, and I hope Ike will continue to uh, like support this distribution for a long time. Unlike Solus, which died a premature death of like it came in 2015 and by 21 it was already dead so within a period of five or six years it died and by 23 we know where we are heading so i hope uh, this project goes on for a long time if not then unfortunately um, i'll be thinking going back to maybe gen 2 i don't want to go to arch or void so next stop would be gen 2 but you know compiling software really takes uh, quite commitment and time which i don't have these days so anyways with this thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video Bye.